on the first day of shelter in place my freezer gave to me one delicious healthy complete meal welcome to help at home your resource for great recipes and easy learning i'm jim hightower well so we started off march 2020 like any other march and it's the month of my birthday on the 18th happy birthday to me but then we started getting this coronavirus covid 19 15 22 who knows but last time we cooked brown rice and if you saved it like i did after it cooled off you could freeze it and then you won't have to cook anymore for the, a little while but Here's my brown rice, and like I said last time, we're going to build on that. And it just happens to be something that I had in the freezer before all this business happened. Because the grocery stores, well even before it's here, the grocery stores were just ransacked. Empty shelves, nothing. It's starting to level off though, but I recommend getting flour and sugar. The early run was... <laughs> Tuna and toilet paper. I don't know. People are crazy. But we are going to make a very popular dish, uh, which in a lot of restaurants in the larger cities are just called a rice bowl. You've got your rice, it's brown or white. You've got your stir fry vegetables, great value. And I've got some frozen shrimp. These are already cooked. Now we're gonna talk about shrimp and some of the problems of cooking shrimp later. But this deluxe stir fry vegetables, almost all stores have them. Um, this one has the baby corn and, and all that fun stuff that I love. So, grab your pen and paper. Here come those easy ingredients. You'll need one uh, recipe or one batch of cooked rice you can do the brown rice, you can do white rice. Don't do instant rice. That's one of those, ugh. Anyway, you'll need one bag of stir fry vegetables. You'll need one bag of shrimp. Now, if you don't like shrimp, you can use some ground beef, if you can come across it. Uh, you could use some cut up uh, pork, pork loin, uh, anything like that. You can use, um, some uh, cut up chicken so you know work with yourself whatever you have these are trying times you'll need a good size skillet or pan and um, if you're lucky enough to have a wok that's even better and you'll need some olive oil to go with it i'm not only lucky enough to have a wok that my lovely mother-in-law gave to me recently but it happens to be an induction ready wok you will need a couple of tablespoons of olive oil. You do not need any measurements for this. It's enough to coat your pan and um, let it heat up and get it all around. And then of course I love my little induction cooktop. I'm gonna test this. Okay. You always want to follow the package directions, but a general rule is medium high heat for about 10 minutes till everything is not only thawed but cooked through and tender. And this is two to four minutes. I don't know about that, but. What you need to do is stir, 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 and get this coated with the olive oil, and um, then it won't stick. As it starts to um, heat your vegetables and, you know, melt some of the residual ice or water that was quick frozen in it, um, you'll see your pan's not as dry 
it's already extruding some of that water. Now, I'm going to cover that and actually turn it down. I have a large bowl of cool to slightly tepid water. And let's talk about these shrimp. Now, even though they're cooked, they're frozen. And with seafood, you want it to be frozen until you're ready to use it. But, um, then you've got the problem of how to thaw this. Shrimp's weird. <laughs> I haven't looked up all the, the wherefores and whatnots, but for some reason, uh, in my experience, when I cook shrimp, especially if I just took it and threw it in here with these stir-fry vegetables under this heat, they would shrink up to nothing. That's really unfortunate because shrimp are not cheap. I'm um, going to up that a little. What I have learned and researched is that you take your shrimp, you can put them in the refrigerator the night before to start your thawing, but then put them in a strainer and um, put them in a bowl of cold water. And um, one reason, I can't talk today. One reason that they tend to shrink is because they are made up primarily of water. So if they get too hot, it just leaches out and they shrink up. So you can set this aside and uh, just let it be. Let's get back to this. It's still just a tad dry. You can never go wrong with olive oil. Just don't go hot wild. By the way, you can toss a little soy sauce into this as you cook, but um, sometimes that can make it a little too salty for the whole bunch. So what we like to do is um, season each individual portion. You know, get your bowl and do your own thing. Also, we buy this low sodium uh, soy sauce at Walmart and it comes in all the good brands so um that's something to think about so it's not quite so salty okay that is done and ready i've turned my burner off it's always nice to get one of these curved funky little asian type bowls we just happen to have them we're not special and then you can scoop out some of your uh, stir-fry vegetables right on top. Since you have thawed your shrimp in water and been able to rinse them, and these were already cooked, be sure and check your package because some will say uncooked, but go for the ones that are cooked. It'll save you a little heartache. Then just Use your impeccably clean fingers, as Julia would say, and put some shrimp or whatever meat you like on there. We love shrimp, and who wouldn't? Honestly, we like the combination rice bowl where you can get some beef and shrimp and chicken. That's all there is to it. You take your soy sauce, and that's good stuff. You've heated up your rice, which is on the bottom, and then you can stir it together. And that way, your shrimp won't get all hot and flustered and shrink like a violet. So, we'll go for the glamour shot and look at all this beautiful, colorful rice bowl. If you like this recipe for making a rice bowl, which is nothing more than what Julia would call an assembly job, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe and share with your friends who like to cook 
or just want to learn how. Drop me a line in the comments below about all your favorite things that you like in a rice bowl and um, what else you'd like to see in the kitchen. Click the bell in the top right hand corner for notifications. I'm Jim Hightower and remember, everyone needs help, even me. Enjoy and be well. Welcome to Help at Home, your resource for great recipes and <laughs> you'll also need <laughs> yeah. for some reason, reason? For some reason.